Okay, welcome to another video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to create these road textures. So for me personally, when I'm creating road textures, I don't create ones using, say, let me show you, textures like this. So if I make this full screen, these are amazing textures and they work really well, but I think they're more applicable for personal projects and maybe gaming more so rather than architectural visualization. Because when I'm given, uh, um, say, a PSD or DWG, I have to use their road markings. I can't just make up my own. And these usually are not going to match the very American. And I use more European and you can't really use these. So in this first example, I did use that to show you how you can use it. Then the next example, I use kind of a hybrid where I use the texture learning, running along this spline here and I use my own road markings. Now, the issue with this is road, mark road markings look believable when you can see this texture going in this direction with this um, direction where the car wheels are going this way, you can say that wear and tear. But we need fresh tarmac. This is still a bit too broken. If I was to say, oh, these are new fresh roads going in, the client would be like, well, why are they all broken? So that's when I come up with this one, which is my own fresh tarmac, which has the road markings. The leaves are just added in. If I go back here, I'll do a more plain view. So it has the road markings, it has a fresh tarmac, and it has my own road markings in. So now I'm going to go into the differences and the approach you should take for each one. So starting with this first example, I'll go into the scene. So in the scene, what I've done is I've created a line here. It's just a simple spline and then I use a sweep modifier and then I use edit poly to make it just a flat surface and a displacement mod using these textures. So as you can see, if I open up this texture and go view image, this is what we have. So it's going to repeat this texture going along. But we need UVs that follow that direction of the road and that's where the sweep modifier comes in and you can go generate mapping and real world coordinates and that way when I hit render we get something like this. So that's all well and good but what if you don't have a spline? So that's all well and good but what if you have road markings that you have to create yourself? You have the line here and you're able to create a sweep like that but you have to use your own road markings. So let me show you how to make road markings. So in this example here I have this texture applied to this material and we have this, this is the result. So we can see it's following that spline, but we don't have road markings. So if I stop this and I turn on my road lines, you see I created this myself and it's a spline. And the important thing about this spline is it has to penetrate through that surface at some point. It has to go right through that surface. Then what we can do is in our panel here, we got to go right click, go to uh, maps, V-Ray and we're going to use the V-Ray distance text. Once we have that, what I want to do is I want to add in these markings. So click here, click plus, and we're adding in our road markings. Now, if I get this and I plug this into say just the, the fuse, let's see what it looks like. So we can see from the render, we're getting this kind of blurred effect. This is at 10 meters at the moment. So if I was to change this to something like one meter, you'll see what's going on now. So it's creating this black outline and it's filling the white on the outside. So if I was to swap these, hit swap, it now has the white on the inside and the black on the outside. Now what we really want is, we want this to set to zero because we don't want to use that. What we want to do is go inside separate and then go inside solid and inside color, we want to change this to white. So now it's using exactly what we have here. So just like that, we have our road markings. The only thing is they're not using the displacement down below and it's also using the same material. So if I was to open up a reference, in this reference, you'll see that there's the freshly painted uh, road markings and the tarmac itself. And you can see the two separate materials, not two separate textures. So it's the paint itself on top of a tarmac material. So you need to have two materials. So we're going to use a V-Ray blend, which is going to blend two materials together to make a more realistic uh, material. So we have our material and we have our distance texture. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to click and drag, go to materials, go to V-Ray and go V-Ray blend material. So, and we want this into base material. So that's our base. So we're working with that. I'm going to apply that to our road now. Okay, expand this again. And what we're going to do now is we have to create a paint material. A separate one. So what I'm going to do is in our, the materials given with us, just to make it a bit easier so everyone can do this, is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to type in paint. And it's not going to be perfect. Like the one I'm going to use is this. It's for wall paint, but we should be able to change it for our liking. So I'm just going to click and drag that in there. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete this altogether. And then we're going to plug this into our, sorry, let's expand this so we can see a bit better. We're going to plug this material into our coat one. Okay, so if I click here, we have our main material here and we have our coat. Now, I'm going to show you what happens now if I hit render. Okay, so we're seeing a blend of both because by default, this V-Ray blend material has this gray value here, which means 50% of both are going to blend into each other. If I was to bring this up to black, now we're just seeing the base material. If I bring this all the way down, we're seeing just the paint material. So we need to tell it in here what we're going to tell it as is, is the mask. Like, so I want to, and which you think you're going to use? Well, it's going to be the distance texture. So I'm going to tell this, oh, use this to know how much to blend between and click OK. And just like that, we have our texture. Now there's a few things going wrong and we have to jump in and fix this. Now, in order to fix this first error is we need to have the same displacement on the paint because that surface being protruded through or you could add in your own one. But for just making it easy, I'm going to click and drag this displacement within our road texture into our paint texture now. So click this in here and you'll see that now jumps up with that surface and now we have a bit of bit of a jump with that texture and straight away we get a much more believable look so we actually have painted with that kind of displacement going through so just like that we have our road markings we have our distance texture and we have a much more believable scene now the final one i'm going to show is what if you don't have a spline to show you and direct that texture and you need a fresh tarmac that's clean for arch fizz say you don't want a broken up part you want something that looks very clean but the one thing that makes roads believable are textures like this so if i go in here the one thing that makes it believable are these kind of patterns where it follows the road because it's such worn from car vehicles uh, so if we go in here again you have these streaks so we need to add road markings and we need to add in these road markings here these sorry these road tracks so the first thing is I'm doing it the exact same way I, as I did the previous example. So in here, I've added in these road clean markings texture. here. So, so now if I hit render, we have our road markings and we have that clean texture. So now we need to add in the lines for the, the cars. And it's very simple. It's quite similar to what we just did. So looking at this example, what I've done is I've created these splines. So these are the directions the cars are gonna go. Like it looks quite complicated if you look at like here. But all I did was select this main road, isolate it, and then I just went into modify. I went into the edge and go to select this edge, expand, move this down, keep going down, and it'll create shape from selection. Okay, once I created that, make it linear. All I did was go into uh, segment mode, delete what I don't need, select all the splines, and then down here, down here we have outline, and we can say something like 1.5 meters and then we get a line here and then I just rinse and repeat that until I get all the lines I know and after I do that I'd have my car lines here like that so I'd have my car lines and just like that then we do we can add these into another V-Ray distance text so let's do that now so I have my V-Ray distance here it's plugged into this material I need to make another one so I'm going to shift and click to make another one so once I have that I need to delete that and then I'm going to add in this one I need to swap these and I'm going to uncheck these don't need those anymore and this is going to tell our distance okay so this is going to tell us the width of that so if I change this say to 0.1 or make it big let's go one meter and then we need to plug this into something now we need to duplicate this material now um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all this and we're using this material to create our tire tracks. So bring that down, move these out of the way, and we're gonna click and drag this into coat two. And again, we're gonna use this distance tech we just created to create that one. Click okay, and now we're gonna hit render. Now once you hit render, you'll notice that nothing has changed. And that's fine, because what we're doing is, we're using this texture to create that lighter version but we haven't told it anything different. It's the same texture being applied on top of the same texture. So what we need to do is we may need to make this material lighter. So click and drag here, go to maps, general, and go to color correction. 
So in this, we're going to go to advanced and I'm going to change this to something like 1.45, not 145, 1.45. And now that material is a bit brighter. And we're going to click and plug this into our diffuse. And let's hit render again. Now we're starting to see something. So you can see we have these dark lines going in, but obviously this isn't the result we want. So let's see what we can change. So we have here our distance road marks. And if I change this to say one, you're going to see now we have those marks, but it's having the opposite effect of what we want. We don't want it to get darker on these lines. We want the opposite, we want it to get brighter here. So what we need to do is we probably need to swap these two, hit swap, and there we go. So I'm going to explain the material just a bit more just so, because it can get pretty complicated. If you look at this, it seems more complicated than it is. But basically, this is our main road texture that's being shown on the overall tarmac. This is our paint, which is used for the markers, and the paint is being plugged into this blend material. And what's being shown is defined by this distance texture. So in here, we have these markers, and you're telling it where that marker is, that's where it's going to show that paint. Then we've copied this material, and we're using a color correction to make it brighter and wherever we have those lines those lines going through here it's going to show that brighter texture based on this v-ray distance texture so just like that and then with this one you could change this texture to whatever you wanted and you have a whole different tarmac look and going in here and just like that we get a much more believable scene and if you want to add in a bit more believability what I've done is I've added in some forest per objects and once I hit render on that, we get something like this. And it adds that believability and I hope this has been helpful. And yeah, try and find out if you can make your own road texture using these kind of uh, skills and techniques. And I wish you the best uh, doing it. Mm -hmm.